All instruments experience some baseline drift and need to be re-zeroed from time to time. In this video, you will learn how to re-zero your 2B Tech ozone monitor. To zero the ozone monitor, first attach the external ozone scrubber. This scrubber contains a material that catalytically converts ozone into molecular oxygen. With the ozone scrubber attached, the instrument samples ambient air that contains no ozone. You will see what the monitor reads when no ozone is present, and then just adjust it to read zero. Next, you will need to set the instrument averaging to 5 minutes, so it will average data points for you. First, hold the select switch to reach the menu. Now select the averaging submenu. Select 5 minutes for the averaging time. This returns you to the main menu. Click the left arrow to begin making measurements again. Let the ozone monitor run for at least 10 minutes and come back to find out what the 5 minute average value is. It's been a little more than 10 minutes now. Let's see what the current 5 minute average is. Notice that the display alternates between displaying the most recent 10 second ozone measurement and the current 5 minute average of ozone measurements. In this example, the ozone monitor is reading an average value of 2 ppb when the actual ozone concentration is zero. So the ozone monitor reads high and we need to adjust the offset or Z calibration factor downward by two to make it read correctly. Go into the main menu. The calibration menu is under the configuration. To change the offset calibration factor for ozone, select O3. There are two calibration factors, Z for the offset and S for the sensitivity. You want to change the offset Z. First, note what the current value is we see that Z is set to 7. That means that after making a measurement, the microprocessor adds 7 ppb to the measured value. But you now know that the ozone monitor is outputting a value too high by 2 ppb. So you need to reduce the Z to 5 ppb in order to make the ozone monitor read 2 ppb lower than before. To change Z, hold in the select switch until you get a blinking cursor over the Z. Now rotate the select switch to change the value of Z. Once you have Z set to a new value, Press the select switch to enter that value. You can leave the menu to restart making measurements. Notice that you are four levels deep into the menu. Each time you click on the right arrow, you will go up one level. The OZO monitor has been running for more than 10 minutes now with the new calibration parameters entered. Note that the ozone monitor now reads negative 0.1 ppb, which rounds to 0 ppb. Our zeroing of the OZO monitor was successful. You can remove the ozone scrubber and begin ambient ozone measurements. Be sure to set the instrument to the desired averaging mode and restart logging if you want to save your data in the internal data logger. Also, you may want to keep a record of the new ozone calibration parameters that are entered in the instrument.